Hi there, Carlos here and welcome. I'm here today to give you a review on the Elitec LD100 Plus. This is a heated diode leak detector and Elitec claim this will do hydrocarbons and all refrigerants. So, what's in the box? First of all, we have a performance report here uh, claiming its sensitivity, 3 grams per year, so it's up with the rest of the models on the market. We have an instruction pamphlet, and all of these Elitech instruction pamphlets are very detailed, very easy to follow. Um, they are claiming that uh, these are the refrigerants which are um, the, the unit is uh, capable of detecting, and we're going to do a test on those in a short while. But uh, the one I'm very interested in, and keeping up with uh, the changes of the industry, we are seeing more and more hydrocarbons. So uh, looking at R600A and R290, I'm very interested to see how it's performing. Okay, so let's take a look at the unit itself. Taking out the box. Yep. Oh, pretty good that. Pretty good swan neck. Uh, always good when you're trying to steer into awkward gaps, trying to detect leaks. Yeah, feels good quality. The hand build feels good quality. We have an on off button here, a reset button, sensitivity button and a mute button. So we'll have a look if you switch it on. Okay, so let's have a look at the back here and we'll see what Eddie Tech have done. Okay, so we need to pull the pull little tab out there and put the batteries into circuit. Good that Eddie Tech will supply batteries to this. Okay, so we go back around the front again and switch on. That's better. So the unit is doing um, what well, we can call it a boot up, but it's actually uh, preparing itself for test procedure. So that will take uh, a short time. Okay, so the unit is warmed up now. Uh, we can hear a small, short bleeping sound in the background. We can turn that off if you wish by pressing the mute button. Okay, so what we do have on the front here on the panel is another button here, sensitivity. So at the moment, uh, the red is indicating that we are on the highest sensitivity, but we can turn that down to like an orangey, yellowy color. So that would indicate now we're on our medium sensitivity. If we press it once again, we can go to green, and then green indicates now that it's on its lowest sensitivity. Another cool feature Elitech have built into this detector is the reset button. The reset button is used where you are trying to trace down a refrigerant leak. There's so much refrigerant in the atmosphere, the detector will get confused about what it's actually detecting as a raw leak and what's already in the atmosphere. So by pressing the reset button, we'll give it zero point for the meter and any more concentrated or further concentrated refrigerants can now be detected and all the refrigerant in the atmosphere can be ignored. So here I'm going to do a control test to test the equipment's capability on three refrigerants. We have an R290, an R600A and an R134A. So the green being its lowest sensitivity, we should try that first. We'll come around now to the R134A. And I've released a tiny bit of refrigerant into the cap only. So I'll release the cap. We can see that the Elitech straight away has detected that. The higher the number, the higher the number, the higher the concentrate. Not a problem there with 134A. Fantastic. So here we've got R600A. And again, no problems with R600A. There's a small leak there on this fitting. R600A. The Elitech. LD100 Plus has found that immediately. No problem, we'll just carry out a reset. Okay. Remove this one from the area. 
And then finally, we've got the R290. And reassure you the gas is off. That is picking up traces of R290. Less than a couple of minutes ago. Fantastic. We are with a natural gas G20 open top burner. We flashed the gas on and off just a short second. We're now going in with the Edutech as it is a combustible gas detector to see if she can find the leaks. Immediately, immediately. So, great stuff there. As I say, the gas is not on. The gas was simply flashed on and off very quickly. And the Edutech leak detector, the LD100 Plus, has found traces of gas, unburned gas around that area. Although it's a designated refrigeration leak detector, it will find other combustible gases. That is amazing. Great stuff, Ellie Tech. So, some great tests there shown. Uh, just to sum up, uh, a couple of pros and cons. The, the LD100 Plus is slightly better model than the older LD100, which uh, has proven to be successful in the industry. Um, the battery life, uh, Elitech claims, should last up to about seven hours, which is pretty good stuff. We've already had the warm up time of 30 seconds. We've already seen some of the refrigerants that uh, is claimed to detect, and uh, we've, we've obviously tested that on 134A, uh, the 290, and the 600, and the G20 natural gas, which is good. Uh, there are some other informations uh, in, in the uh, manual. We, uh, the, the detector itself can show up some alarm codes, which is useful. A quick reference. Um, so overall, pretty good, pretty good. The only con I can see at the moment is the unit uh, comes in just a cardboard box. Uh, would that last in the field? I don't know. It was such a lovely piece of kit. I would have thought Ellie Tech would have put that into a nice plastic case or something. But yeah, uh, thanks for viewing. Uh, certainly is a good choice I've made there. Um, and uh, hope to all meet again. I'll say goodbye.